Well, welcome to Tax TV, Neil and here. I've got a new guest on today, Charlie. So, Charlie, great to have you on, mate. Cheers, on me on, pal. Not a problem. Uh, yeah, I mean, just before we go into a Bolton game, we're going to have a, a brief touch on Fleetwood uh, game. Um, a win at home, but under, well, a bit dodgy in the last 10 minutes, when it, uh, referee and that. But, again, I think with Fleetwood, it's one of them kind of games with Manuel, we're going to come make it awkward for us, like when we went to their place. We sat back at times and frustrated us, but pleasing to see for me, Charlie, is that his intent and his passion will be here right until final whistle, mate. Yeah, I mean, we've always kind of been like that versus lower teams. We'll always struggle a bit more, I've noticed, but we always somehow come out with the result we deserve. But I've noticed a lot as well with the refs recently, haven't been the best standard. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, it, for, for, a bit frustrated for me is like with referees and officials. You know, we can like go to lines, you know, uh, lines person, lines linesman. Is that I get where you can make like mistakes and that. That's fair enough. But in in that game against Fleetwood, what highlighted it, it, it you know, it put things so it couldn't have been so different. Is that they got a penalty for a player running across in front of a man and went down. Yet Norwood went down, being shoved over. And in the same game, one's given and one's not. And that's weird. It's like, well, what's happening here? Is is it God's against this kind of thing? Uh, we went to Accrington and Devante Cole got at down and you watch it again. It's It seems to be certain things like that what frustrates fans and you, you kind of get that, don't you? Yeah, and I think at the end of the season, those are moments you look back on if we say like four points of automatics, which is not where I'd expect us to be, to be mm. honest. But if we are, those are the points you'll look at and think, maybe, what if this happened? What if we had a bit better of a ref for this game? What if this all this? But, you know, it's all gone now, isn't it? So, you, there's no point crying over spilled milk kind of thing. Yeah, true. It's move on to the next game. Uh, like I said, we going to Christmas period. We're at Accrington away. Uh, Fleetwood at home. So, it's two similar sides in style of play. We will be roughly in league. But... Big big test coming up, uh, which we've all been talking about, and there's been a lot of right around it. Bolton and Wonders coming up, uh, Charlie. Um, yeah. I, I I don't know how this one's going to go, to be fair, if I'm honest, because in league, obviously, we're a draw. FA Cup, we went and won. Um, I just think it's always uh, Ian Everett going to have a pop at this time, like he seems to like having a go at some of our staff. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, what's your take on Bolton game? Well, it's, it's going to be a tough game, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I've been because I live in Bolton, so I've been talking to a lot of my friends about it, oh, and yeah. they said it, you can see it being a real tough challenge because they're quite good at defending. They've got a really mm -hmm. solid defence, but I've noticed their away record isn't too good on the grand scheme of things. I think it was like is it twelve or a potential thirty or something along the yeah. line. Yeah. yeah. So it's not the best away record, but on the day you got to be careful with Bolton because they've got players that make differences. Like Connor Bradley, he's been very good for them on loan. I'm not sure what's happening with James Trafford for them, their goalkeeper, mm. because I believe Rangers have got interest in him and he might be going back to City. But we'll just have to see what happens there. But if he goes, then I think we do have a chance. Oh, so he's a man. really good player. Yeah, that's interesting, man, that, that uh, goalkeeper situation. I mean, Bolton will, go, will be fetching no disrespect to light, such as uh, you know Forest Green and stuff like that, but we'll be fetching a, a decent uh, uh, following of her. So... I'll be well out well you'll you'll have that bit of more of a banter between fans and that going off. Um I think it's just gonna be I, I know there's been a lot of hype around it, uh, from Bounds and kind of thing about Luke O'Connell going, you know, back to Bolton. I mean, all that's like seems to get brought up all the time. But I think for me, I think I think Luke O'Connell's gonna be one of the key players, if I'm being honest. But then I'm also looking at so, someone like Mads Anderson. And probably Norwood or Cole up front and Adam Phillips all being instrumental in, in a game like Bolton. I mean, it's a big game for obvious reasons. We're both up, up there, thereabouts. I mean, if we can get a win over Bolton and we've still got two games in hand, it, it's it's all about creative points and bit, bit of the gaps in the table. But who, who would you see as Bounds' key player coming into this, this game, Charlie? I mean, it could be anyone really. Brad Collins is always sort of an insurance pick if you need in a tough game. But uh, Mads has been looking decent lately. But I think last game he wasn't the best of his performances. But 
he always builds off on it. And being a captain, I think he will be the one who makes the most impact, whether it's on the ball or off. Mm-hmm. 150th game he got as well against Fleet was so a good achievement. Um, and again, I think it was one of them kind of games where Mads, although it can be like a quiet game, you need to be switched on all the time because you never know what they're going to do on counter attack or not like that. So, yeah, good shout uh, with Mads. And like, you know, I like to veer with Brad Collins, we plays that sweeper keeper role since he's come back from that uh, injury. We had that uh, smash up first in against Cambridge. Um, would you change all with line up or, or would you keep it light for light going into Bolton game? Uh, I noticed last time, I think it was the league or the cup we played them. Norwood wasn't as impactful versus Ricardo Santos, but mm. I'm not sure. I would, I wouldn't give it to Jarlo. Yeah, I think he's a bit too young to go into a big game like that. Maybe we wouldn't bring Norwood off at half time, given his hour of play time he normally has, mm. and then we try Jarlo or we try a different system to at the top. Because I like the up top too, but it's what you do if one of them isn't performing because they kind of bounce off each other. So it's yeah. quite hard to balance. Yeah, good point. But I mean, for me, they're kind of similar kind of players, Norwood and Cole. Um, I think they do work well together, uh, complement well uh, with running off at ball as well, uh, creating space and that. But like I said, I get where you're coming from on that respect. Was in when you look at bench, or would you come on to try and alter it and change it a bit? Uh, Teddy just come back to Man City about another eight or ten weeks uh, injured. It's and Mont on bench, which were a bit of a concern for me. I don't know if he's picked up a niggle. Um, so it leaves you like we Jallo. Um I'd like to see Aitchison be on bench and come on for such as Norwood. Because like like what you said via is that you know what you're gonna get with Norwood, but I think sometimes if it's not working for you, you need to shake it up a bit and be interested to see what happens on that. Uh for me. Barring there's any niggles or injuries, which I don't, I don't think there is. I'd, I'd more or less keep the same side. You know, it's it's doing all right, kind of thing. Um, school prediction. I'm going to be saying it's going to be a tough one, this because I, I call it out on last video against uh, Fleetwood. That I think we'd score a goal from a set piece, and Anderson to score, but it was set piece and Cundy scored. So, but I, I think set pieces will be. Probably key in this as well, uh, free kicks or corners. But I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for a bound to two one win. I just feel that there's gonna be I think it's gonna be tight and cagey like it was in league at Bolton, yeah. but in FA Cup it were a bit bit different. But I'm just gonna go for a bound a bound to two one win. What 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 are you calling on this, Charlie? Uh well I mean <laughs> I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I do think we're going to get a 1-1 one, one draw. I don't think we'll have to get the win. I think in the end, they're bolting off the 12th man in this game with the away fans. They've got so many travelling. And I think that'll be the difference, really. It won't necessarily too much with the players on the pitch. It'll be the people in the stands. Because recently, uh, it's not been too good at Oak Hall, the atmosphere-wise. And I think bringing a heavy set of away fans, it could either reignite it or drown it out. But... Mm. I think because they've got one of the best defences as well in the league, I think that they're definitely going to keep it to a one-goal deficit. They won't. We won't go more than two up at a time, even if we were to get many. Good call, good call. Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot said about atmosphere at Oakwell, and I think, for me, when we, when well, when we, when Cundy scored for Barnsley, I think that's most vocal and more passion I've, I've ever seen at Oakwell for quite some time. But So I'm hoping it like kind of transcends, but like you said, via... Bolton, like Chef Wednesday and stuff like that. We always bring a decent following, uh, a vocal following, which I, I love me. I love that banter going off. But um, again, if it's not going our way kind of thing, it kind of can work against us. So I'll be well, we can make it work for us and try and drown Bolton away out. Uh, so Charles going, you were going for 1-1. I'm going for 2-1. So I think we both can agree it's going to be a tight game. It's... Uh, I think it's going to be a tight game, not much in it, but all being well, there's going to be some entertainment and some tackles going in. Uh, not too dangerous. And like I say, we'll see what, see who uh, ever, ever goes off to work to uh, off at, uh, after his 90 minutes. We'll see if that'll be an interesting one. So, Charlie, it's been great having you on, mate. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very uh, much. Well, have a good new year. I uh, hope 2023 is going to be going in Barnes's way, direction, and it's going to be a lot more positive than January 2022 when we're going into it. So, yeah, Charlie, thanks for joining me, mate. Appreciate no it. Problem, mate. Have a good time.
Uh, everybody what's watching, please leave your comments below. Let us know your score predictions, your lineups, so who you think score, goal score is going to be. Please like, subscribe and share. Uh, have a good new year as well for watching. Uh, one thing left to say, you were heads.